Hello and welcome my friends. It's finally time for T1! Ay ay ay, we're facing BLG and yeah, BLG this year they they kinda kinda yeah caused some troubles. Uh yeah, kinda our rival somewhat, I don't know. Uh it's it's tough, right? At uh, at MSI they're just causing troubles for us. I think we beat them 2-1 or 2-0 or something like that at EWCQ, so we got our win in that regard. And obviously last year we 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 had uh, we had fun right at Worlds. I think we two owed them there in the um, what is it qualification match there. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Let's focus on today. T1 they looked fine in their wins and the losses, but yeah, that's that. Same could be said for BLG. Both teams kind of threw away some leads that they had. Um, but anyway, let's focus on today. Let's focus on this matchup and let's go into the draft to see who has an edge in this. Uh, kind of important best of one right if you don't really want to move up to one two and then get an unlucky matchup or like something bad happening uh yeah you want to meet up uh, with the big boys at the two one stage right obviously it's a very hard uh draw but hey, you gotta beat the best one you gotta beat the lpl to make it to the top and uh yeah we we, we are accustomed to making it so let's just again talk about the draft it's going to be an ari first pick um okay yeah i guess knight's the best ari around and well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Oriana Nocturne bans on their side. Okay, reasonable, I guess, right? And uh, yeah, our bans are pretty good. No Smolder, no uh, Yon. I mean, Aurora, I don't think that champion is all that good, but it's it's annoying, so I get it. And then, so the Ari first pick is answered by Narvi. So the Vi pick, it's, it's good, it's good, right? Uh, I mean, it's a pick away, right? It's not the Skarner, right? You don't... You don't really want to give them uh, like Ari and Vi, it's like, yeah, sure, it's there are answers, but you just don't want to give it to them, right? Comfort and like training and all of that, that matters, right? Even if there are like answers to it that you might uh, have practiced a bit. Regardless, the Nar pick is stupid. Why the fuck are we blind picking Nar? Like what? Like Bin has so many champions and uh, like his champion, the Jax, right, that he's known for, is a counter to Nar. So uh, yeah, this this Nar pick is, that's, that's not good. Like, especially, like, here we see, right, as the draft unfolds in the front of our eyes, we see the Silas is being picked up as an Ari counter, right? That makes some sense. Like, why couldn't we pick up, like, Silas and Vi in our first rotation and then wait for them to pick something up? And, like, they pick up the Skarner, so that's that. Then they pick up the Jax, so that's really that, right? The really huge skirmishing comes from both sides and, okay, like, we need to pick up the pace. There's a Kalista, okay, iffy. It's going to pair paired up with a Nico, right? You're not picking like, like what is that? You're not picking Pike, right? On the other side, this Poppy pick is, uh, yeah, that's pretty massive. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have fucking fifty dashes, and uh, yeah, Poppy comes in clutch. I mean, we all know Jin is pretty good, so yeah, BLG's comp really looks good. They're making some picks, and they have Jax in the side lane that's going to uh, rip our faces off, right? Good against the Nara and against the Silas. Silas can steal some good ults here. Not the best, but some decent ones. And the Callista Nico, uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. Not sure how this 2v2 goes. Um, I, I guess BLG might want to swap, right? Because the like the early levels of the Nar Jax matchup, it's not that bad, right? The Jax player can make something happen, but uh, yeah, it's just a bit annoying, I guess. So uh, yeah, BLG might swap here, and T1. Well, yeah, they're in a they're in a good position, I think. Like it's going to be a bit more like uh, like hand stiff right it's like sure blg has the poppy and the jacks that's like counter a uh, big counter picks to what we have but i think we have bit, like better team fighting tools so it depends on uh, what team like leverages their strengths right both of these compositions are pretty yeah pretty straightforward zack zack uga booga team fight with a bit uh, t1 with a bit more team fighting whereas blg has a bit more pick and a bit more individual uh, like powers right uh, silas might be a counter pick to ari but uh, Ari with the true damage is still going to be somewhat annoying and uh, yeah that's going to be that's going to be it about the draft right again matchup wise especially since I think we're going to see swaps I mean if we don't see swaps there's also not much to talk about again the bot lane will be the only interesting thing right how on can maybe make something happen with his W against Kalista right um, that's kind of about it for the interesting part and then uh, Ari here again with Grasp makes some sense, right? You can just get free Grasp stacks in lane against a melee champion like the Yon or in this case like the Silas. Just makes you a bit more tanky and uh, well, that's kind of about that. And uh, yep, yeah, Carrier Slash kind of forced out here. It doesn't want to get chunked away. Uh, not the biggest of issues, I feel like. 
but I mean it's 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 still something, right? Uh, but if we actually yeah, let's see, right? The gin and the poppy are moving towards top, so yeah, um, it's going to be a swap. So then the flash even matters way way less. Ay 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 ay. So anything else interesting here to talk about? Well, I guess not really, especially when we have a swap, we can just lean back. And uh, yeah, see how it goes, right? Obviously, it's going to not be flashy, but I'll pay attention who plays the map better. So obviously, as always with the swaps, right? Um, the bot side will be the one getting ad additional plates. Usually, it's two or three, um, not much more, right? Because then the TP comes in from the level three uh, jungler, uh, top laner. And here, in uh, comparison to what Fnatic did in the last game, probably you didn't saw it, but you should. Um, yeah. On is here to hover his uh, top laner, right? Level 3 Jack's already kind of annoying. And then Zeus TP's top, not under much threat, right? Because uh, there's no top laner and the, uh, the support is also not there. At worst, it's the Jin and the Skarnar, but that's also not the big issue, right? Especially since you prep the Mega Nar, right? That's uh, the, the big benefit of the of the Nar in the swaps, right? Because you can prep the Mega Nar and you're not diveable, <laughs> not really. Unless it's really like four people and like really good champions to do just that. But uh, yes, that's kind of about it. Yeah, as expected, two plates were being collected here by T1. Um, a bit of the additional gold. Um, oh yeah, okay, 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 yeah, they're showing it. Wait, game record six to three, series record two to zero? What the hell? Who? Huh? When did we lose twice against them? Did we lose twice against them at MSI? Because I, we beat them at EWCQ, which I, I guess Riot Games is not counting that one in their statistics, right? Because it's not an official Riot Games sanctioned tournament or whatever. Uh, I don't know, they supported it, but not really. Uh, yeah, I guess that's always the, the drama when it goes to like things evolving uh, the Arabic world, right? Uh, but regardless, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, 6 to 3, that's uh, not too bad, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, hey. We, we showed up last year that we can beat them and uh, it's going to be all right, right? Obviously, this team is pretty good, right? There's a reason why they dominated the LPL, but uh, we're world champions, so we're also pretty good. Let's see the gank here. Yeah, that's a cool thing with, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Nico into Skana. I think we saw it already a couple of times. Um, you can't just sh uh, like put uh, the clone up and then, yeah, obviously Skana can't really do anything against that if the clone is in the way. He has to like hit the first target, so so that's at least something. Your mid lane is a bit rough, right? Especially I think with the grass build, it's just even even worse for the sideless, right? The sideless like is a counter pick to Ari, right? Because you steal the old and then your abilities are just better. Oh, actually, no, we no, we don't have a two v two kill here, but it's still a two v two win, right? Making your presence known. I think Carry hit a good E there, but yeah, that's a oh, that's kind of it. Anyway, the Silas matchup, like Silas is going to be a counter later on, right? In lane, he's still a like melee champion. Sure, if he can like, get a good jungle gank, then sh stuff can happen. But uh, yeah, not uh, not not really early on, right? You're just getting bullied, especially I think again with the grasp, it's just going to make it worse. Ona picking up here grubs. I think he's going to get two and then bail, right? We have top push, but mid lane is not really in the greatest of states. Uh, but yeah, top lane looking good so far, right? The now range advantage really making itself known and not sure how it happened. But uh, now also like got more XP from uh, from the lane swap situation. Well, no, actually, yeah, just Bin had to collect the wave and then he's even. So, okay, nothing really weird happened there because, yeah, both TP'd in. And I think Bin should have even gotten more XP because his wave uh, was a bit bigger that he collected. But regardless... Again, super even early game, right? Just a, a tiny gold lead here for T1. Uh, mid jungle kind of going in BLG's favor, which yeah, makes some sense, right? Skarnar clears, I think, a bit faster than Vi, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Also, obviously, Vi like spent time doing two of the the grubbers, right? So that's a bit, uh, yeah, that's a bit of time uh, wasted there as well, I guess, in terms of like gold and so on and so on. And obviously Faker is just going to be on the back foot for a while in this game because uh, sure he has good ults to steal but uh, yeah Knight is going to harass him in lane which will result in a bit of a gold lead there so he will be behind he will be behind there actually we have a bit of a fight here right owner kind of caught here he will be slain and there's a Jin but Jin doesn't have static shift so we don't need to be that scared Faker here can you get Knight both have some charges left on that ult just goes forward gets the Q and that should be it. 
Um, yeah, he kind of screwed, right? Bin TP'd. Oh, yeah, fourth shot is enough. Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he didn't really have an escape uh, route or anything there, right? Bin TP'd uh, into mid lane, I assume. Well, so uh, yeah, it's kind of two for two. We take that first blood over though to BLG. I think to Ari. Is Ari the one that picked that up? Because I picked up the kill on Faker, I assume. So that's that. And uh, yeah. I guess the TP, right, that's going to be something, right? Zeus could be, uh, uh, yeah, in a good position to leverage that. So, yeah, we pay the first blood price, uh, but we still get, uh, like, a, a good amount of uh, fun, right? The kills on our squad uh, went to Faker and Carrier. That's okay, right? Faker kind of needs the gold, right? It's going to be a, a tough time ahead of him. Um, but, yeah, your owner obviously digging around a bit too much. Uh, he has his friends around, so I guess I understand why he feels confident, but... Yeah, the, the lockdown of the, what is it, suppression of the, uh, what is it, Skarnold is just a bit too much. And, uh, yeah, yeah, like Faker could have potentially gotten his passive auto attack off for the kill, right, especially uh, since uh, Knight was so low. But the fourth shot says no. That's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Still, I think a favorable situation for us, right, first blood paid over for a TP. I think that's okay, right, we'll have to see how Zeus can leverage this TP advantage to either help the team or... Yeah, well, set himself ahead, and uh, so far, right, it's going to be it's going to be all right, right. Bot lane situation fine. Faker again, as expected, like falling behind in CS and uh, gold a bit, right. Knight is capable of getting big turret plates as well. It's just a yeah, a very mobile range champion that is harassing you. That also has like damage and CC and everything. So yeah, this matchup, Knight is playing it well. Maybe Faker could play a bit better, but I don't know. I think uh, with. Uh, with the way it is, it's just not that great. Right, Faker even, like, look at it. He's ahead in CS, right? He's doing a good job CSing, but, I mean, he just can't, uh, like, clear the waves as confidently um, with his passive, right? Because every time he wants to step up and auto and, like, use the abilities, it, use his abilities on the wave to, like, uh, stop it from hitting the tower, right? Because that's the issue. The wave's hitting the tower, and that's resulted. That's what resulted in Knight's plates, a uh, plate lead. I, I, I. Speaking is hard. And also hard is contesting these grubs, right? Uh, I think we can get the bot lane turret here. Oh no, okay, he was Mega Nar, then obviously it's a bit tougher. But uh, yeah, he still picks up plates. So yeah, Zeus also in a good position here. We'll have to see, oh, yeah, what's going to happen in the top lane. A uh, bit wild, there's still no static shift. So I think we still win this fight here. Uh, yeah, I think we could have played this a bit more aggressively. I think we could have killed on here, no? Uh, but I guess we didn't know where Knight was because I think he hovered into River and we have some wards there but not perfect information. Regardless, we're going to defend this top lane turret. We've got a play here and I think with Guma and Bot we should be able to pick up the, the bot lane turret there as well depending on wave state. Actually, Guma gives solo gold over to, uh, to Zeus. That's interesting. So yeah, uh, good play, right? We punish a top lane uh, attack, right? Guma pushes in the uh, mid wave, then rotates over bot, helps his top laner collect that one. Oh, Faker. Well, I guess it's good. He cancels the recall, right? But yeah, and yeah, should be should be fine, right? Because uh, like you see, Zeus already on his way top side, and uh, Elk has not recalled yet. Oh, Faker resets his recall as well. That's not great. Maybe he got W'd. Maybe he got W'd. But yeah, this could be a bit of a TP uh, play, right? Faker with the TP can generate some tempo. Um, Right, with the delayed recall, but yeah, shouldn't really matter, right? Since there's also no objective or anything really to like fight around. But uh, yeah, static shift acquired by the the gin, and first items come across the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good so far. Looking good so far, right? I think we've played the map quite a bit better than them. But yeah, it's going to be troublesome because this Jax, right? Who's going to answer him, right? The oh, actually, they're looking for a play here, but there's the Meganar coming up. Meganar into the tr oh. Okay, owner gets ulted away. He didn't have ult. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Actually, yeah, three, two, carrier. Oh, yeah, he gets jumped. Okay, so yeah. I mean, if owner had ult, I think you can ult buffer the poppy ult, or I don't know. Is it the buffer? Whatever it is, right? You can do something there, and then maybe they could have cooked because uh, yeah. Well, I mean, Meganar under the turret. Overall, we gain three ultimates for one. So I guess overall, just positive play, right? They make something happen. We say nope. And uh, yeah, on the cross map, nothing really is happening. But what I want to talk about is like, Bin, who's going to stop this uh, this Jax here realistically? Um, like, Faker is going to lose the 1v1. Uh, no chance, right? Um, and Zeus, I mean, he's 800 gold ahead right now. So maybe we don't need to be worried. 
but yeah, we'll see we'll see anyway uh yeah we pick up the the herald right and blg too late on the cross map and t1 is punishing that we're picking up both neutral objectives sure we gave over four of the grubbers and now we tp top lane oh wait wait double tp wait double double tp okay so yeah that's good right because those should always have tp'd right he went with the team and then it's like we always have tempo tp top lane uh so that would be like tp for dragon which is like that's that's a trade we do, we take especially if it's cloud soul and uh then knight for faker tps that, that's even as well so yeah we're not that, that that's not a loss right that's something that we are okay with a handshaking that uh, trade there so yeah we have herald we have two dragons uh looking good so far right again we have to be a bit careful right um this uh this blg comp again uh is really good at like generating picks so uh we kind of need multiple people to align for like a big not wombo combo but uh yeah it's like we need multiple t people we need everyone to work together to win a team fight right it's not something where one person can just 1v9 a team fight right that's very very unrealistic to happen for us so we need everyone together and if blg can generate a pick here we can't really do anything afterwards again we need all five pieces of the exodia of the zog however you pronounce that faker flash oh he tried to dash away right he eat there but it didn't work and now he flashes and yeah that's just no yeah i mean i get i get it you try to e the scana ult but uh yeah that's <laughs> maybe a bit greedy no just flash it and you're out right because if you don't get altered then you don't get chunked and then they can't really dive you afterwards uh yeah that's interesting oh are we wait 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 we are using two ults on a poppy well i guess if we leave no we don't leave we're forcing a dive as well Oh no, T1, what are we doing? We knew Skana was topside because he just made a play. Knight doesn't have ult, so that's at least something, but... Like, Faker is dead, doesn't have TP. We use two ults on a pop P. Bin has TP, right? That's not hidden information. Wei was topside, also not hidden information. Knight is also topside, but he at least showed, in, or showed on top lane wave, so like, sure, he was like kinder like later to it, but that was just not good. That, yeah, that was just, like, so, first step, two ults used on the poppy. Not great, but hey, if we just get the poppy pick and leave, it's not that bad. Sure, like, we get antsy, right, getting uh, Elx cleanse, but, it, I mean, it looks good here for now, but again, we remember, like, the big issue of, hey, we're trying to dive a turret at, like, minute 12 or something? I don't know what it is, but... Uh, like at this point in the game we're not tanky enough right the turret is doing a massive amount of damage also we don't have enough damage yet to like burst down this gin right uh and it's like at best a 4v4 at worst a 4v5 right and again way comes around and he doesn't have all so that's that but we are under tower right we need advantages to go for us right that's a baseline of this play and uh yeah whatever whatever uh gold lead's still there but it's a bit smaller now and yeah, I mean, Faker, he goes with Hextech Proto Belts? Like, what the hell? What? Does he do that because, um, like, for Skana ult to get, like, an extra dash to be in Skana ult range or something? That's, like, something that I would imagine. Otherwise, like, I don't think that item is all that amazing. Sure, it gives you, like, good stats for melee bruisers, right? HP, uh, AP. Does it still give ability aids? Probably. Probably still gives uh, some penetration. Like, again, like the stat profile, it's it's not a bad item, but it's not something where I would say, hey, yeah, uh, or yeah, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Guma here, trying to, like, exist, right? This game is pretty tough for him. There are so many people trying to take his head off. So that's the Herald. Oh, TP comes in into bot lane. Okay, this is a bit messy, but Faker with the earlier TP. And who's rotating over? Is it going to be a 2v2 or it's going to be a larger fight? Herald goes into mid lane, takes that one down. Now let's see, can T1 do something here? Obviously the dragon has spawned, would be our sole point. And I guess with, yeah, with uh, Knight no ult, Faker did not use his, and uh, yeah, Zeus has TP. I guess Knight as well, but like Ari without uh, like ult just doesn't really matter. Actually, Knight does not have TP, obviously he TP'd bot lane. So yeah, Faker TP's down, calms on the situation, says no more fighting, no fighting. And T1, without fighting, picks up the dragon, right? Because cooldowns have been used, HP bars have been lowered. And uh, yeah, again, the crucial thing here is Faker still had ult. Faker was not that low. 
and our chunk boy right uh was the now with the tp so uh yeah that's pretty good obviously it helped that we had like river uh control and like rotated through that area um elk also used to hold so yeah again just just good just good Faker with the fast TP, very crucial, again, in a world, right, where we live in, where TP takes four seconds to channel, you need to be, like, you need to press that button the moment you think something uh, goes wrong. The issue with that is, like, also, like, TP takes long, so you need to, like, TP instantly uh, before you can even assess the situation at times, right? We've seen it often enough, right, where you TP to a play, and then it's like, oh, wait, actually, this play's fucking ass. And, well, you had to TP fast, because otherwise... Otherwise, you don't need to bother with the TP. You were losing our mid lane turret a bit, right? On like with all the rotations and with uh, the four grubs, like it got lower. Oh no, he's dead. No. Uh, yep. Okay, that's that's not something that should happen. Was he like cancelled during? Like, did he recall and didn't notice, or what happened there? Sure, the Jack beats the Nar, and this I guess this is what I said. This is what I said, right? In the, that was one of my first comments looking at this pick ban because why did we like R1 NAR, uh, like blind pick NAR, right? It's like bin, bin's Jax, like that's not a like hidden pick or something, that's like literally his pick. Ah, I'm not saying anything. Oh god, he gets the turret as well. Do I want to look at the gold? Do I want to look at the gold? Uh, oh, I can't see it. Uh, uh, 560 gold lead. He was 300 gold behind. That's an 800 gold, 900 gold swing. Oh god. Yeah, this Jack's being fat. Uh, like sure, like it's going to. He buys stopwatch. Yeah, I mean, and didn't he use? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, seeker, seeker. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This Jack's being fat is a big problem for us because we have no one to answer him in a side lane realistically. Uh, yeah. I mean, sure. I guess with levels and more items, Zeus will be able to. I don't know. Like at least defend the turrets somewhat. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's the best he can do, right? Uh, but hey, he buys stopwatch, so that's good for us. That's very good for us because it means, hey, it's not going to be a side lane Jax. It's going to be a split push. Uh, it's going to be a team fighting Jax with the right, the zero IQ. And like, I'm not playing towards my uh, champion strengths and so on and so on. And all that nonsense. So, yeah, hi. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what I was going to talk about. Uh, oh, no. I was talking about TP situations. And uh, yeah, here Zeus caught. Gets the old buffer, but not in time for way it's old to matter. Faker TPs in, gets the Skarner old, gets one. Yeah, if, if he got more, maybe it would have mattered. But uh, uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> it's very fitting. I, I want to smile, but not really because we're losing Baron here, no? I mean, maybe we can do something. Zeus has TP, Faker does not. So I guess, like, their Baron is that not that fast. Let's talk about Baron in a moment. But, yeah, the, this is the situation with the TPs, right? You can't cancel the TPs. The TPs take long. So you have to insta-TP if you really want to be relevant at the play that is happening. So, yeah, that's the issue, right? Yeah, at some points, you can look like a fool. Sure, Faker, like, maybe played this out not in the best way, right? If he way old multiple people. Anyway, let's talk about the Baron fight now. Okay, so there's the TP from Zeus. He doesn't have Meganar stacked or anything. Ons old, not used. There's the flash onto Elk. Poppy old, uh, yeah. We see explosions and somehow he win, wins, right? Um, that's, I guess, the, oh, wait, bin. No, 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 with Zeus around, that should still be fine, yeah. Okay, okay, so that's uh, four kills. And uh, yeah, we should be able to get Baron here. We have to be careful. Way okay, he uses E. It's not the it's seventeen seconds actually, but he has flash. So yeah, so Zeus, yeah, probably Zeus or Faker. Someone needs to yeah. Okay, Zeus does it. Uh, chase him away. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, yeah. Okay, saved. I guess kinda. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Right, uh, the spot lane situation, again, it's the classic, like, you have to TP early and then you get screwed. Faker, again, I think you could have played it a bit better, but, uh, yeah, that's not the biggest issue anyway. Now here, they do the Baron, but they, yeah, they don't have big Baron damage, and, uh, well, they all line up perfectly. Zeus, um, uh, not Zeus, Carrier ults the front line, which, oh, it's bad, but, uh, yeah, it just opens up more space, right? It creates space between front line and back line, uh, where, yeah, that's where, uh, what is it? Guma flashes forward, as uh, owner, like, with the long ult, comes in clutch, and uh, actually, hey, let's fight about, uh, about this uh, Cloud Drake. Actually, let's not fight about it, uh, around it, for it, whatever. Uh, we have Baron buffs, like, there's no need, to, like, let's take some turrets, oh? It's just a Cloud Dragon, we can't give that, no? 
No need to use the. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, wait, wait, maybe he gets on? No, he does not. Oh, we got bin on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, first, I don't like the decision to fight here. Second, of. Oh god, oh god, oh god, carrier. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, carry. Oh god, go more also dead. But the HP bots are low, maybe because Zeus and the owner can clean it up. Do they have still something in the tank? Zeus has flash Q. Okay, yep. Okay, on with the. Yeah, WE makes it a bit difficult. But uh, yeah, on still dies, Knight lives. Oh god, Knight is 6 1 and 3. I, I, I already see the. Oh god, mid lane looks so bad. But I mean, hey. It looks so bad, but I, I, I don't think Faker played that terrible in this one. I mean, here he buffered, like the E comes through, right? He wants to cancel On's ult, right? On channels the ult, knocks away two people. Faker in the same moment, like, throws down his chains to cancel the ult, but the ult still comes through, knocks away the teammates, and now Faker is 1v3. Uh, 1v3. Still does a lot of amount of damage, but doesn't get the kill, sadly, for him. And, uh, yeah, I mean, his stats will look, will look pretty bad. Probably... I mean, he's probably going to do a, like a fine amount of damage, right? Every time he dies, he goes in, makes damage. He doesn't get the kills though, which will obviously result in not gold gain. And if you don't get gold, then it's going to be t hard to uh, well da deal damage, right? That's that's the thing. The one with the twenty kill uh, with the twenty kills in your game has uh, better chances to well deal damage. Doesn't mean he always will do damage, but. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be like easier to do because he has the extra gold to buy stats and so on and so on. Yap, 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 yap. So like, I mean, it looks terrible, right? Faker has two out of 12 kill contributions and four deaths. And on the other side, Knight with six, one, three, one death and nine out of 11 kill contributions. But uh, I mean, I think both mid laners are playing a decent game. I think Faker had like, what are the like the notice of like errors? I mean, the top lane play, he tried to E out of ways old bit greedy he should have potentially just flashed it and then he would have been fine um that one tp play where uh like just before baron but again I, I i i it's hard to fault him here because the game is in a way you have to tp to these plays instantly uh, otherwise it's just fucked anyway so you have to tp um and then obviously the like the play went went shit right uh, again, he could have uh, like used the Skarner ult in a better way. Uh, could have used his Zonias earlier before he was super low HP, and I don't know things like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a pro player anyway, so like maybe it was. Maybe it was fine. But that's just my observation. So that one, like it, it's 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 not outrageous things, but it's like ah, it's like tiny things, right? Here, use the Skarner ult better. Maybe the play doesn't go that bad. Uh, I mean, in the end, it worked out because BLG thought they could do Baron with Jin. And uh, what's her name? Ari. I think uh, Bin da uh, was dead at that point, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, they don't really have the biggest Baron damage. So they were kind of mind controlled by Faker's death to do that. And yeah, right now in the in the like Cloud Dragon fight, like he wanted to interrupt On's ult, but he didn't. doesn't get the interrupt. On gets the ult through, and then <laughs> moment later, Faker dashes into four people, nearly takes down On. But he does not, and so he does not get a kill or assist, even when on dies later to Zeus, right? So, yeah, it's the scoreline for Faker, pretty sad, but I think his play has not been that terrible, right? He did relevant damage, he buys time, he supported Zeus in the side lanes, and uh, yeah, I mean, his laning phase also not too terrible, right? Sure, he lost plates, but I mean, I guess, I, I think that's kind of, like, there's not really too much that you can do, right? Against Grasp Ari, she's just shoving in the waves into your face, and... Again, like how does Silas clear a wave, right? He has to commit his cooldowns onto the wave, which means that he can then be easily punished. And uh, yep, 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 yep. Anyway, I've talked about uh, yeah, Faker uh, a lot here, I guess. And that's because we have a bit of a lull state. Now, when I say this, both objectives, both neutral objectives have spawned and we make a pick onto way here. Maybe a bit of an overcommitment into this corridor. Uh, ben comes with a TP flank. Carrier was not here. Actually, Carrier got ulted away. That's what happened. Uh, there's a resurrection, right? Owner had the Guardian's Ancients, so that's good for him. And overall, somehow it works out. Somehow we don't get Wei, we get Bin, who TP'd in. Does Wei, Wei has E, but he doesn't have Flash, so he doesn't want to commit for the soul. And do we get Baron here as well? No Bin, Wei no Flash. I mean, he just smote a camp, no? His smite is also on cooldown. All Baron damage is okay, right? Mininar. And Guma obviously with the rent, but I think we should still look for the yeah nice ult by uh, Carrier, right? And yeah, 
Night, no old, no flash, you will also die. Is that actually game? 33 minutes, right? Remember last time we uh, we played against LPL, TES, right? They got an ace at 30 minutes and they just ran it down. And well, maybe we can do the same, right? Carrier here, right? We need to protect the wave because these two minions are not going to be enough. 30 seconds. I think it can be enough, right? We have high damage here. Um, but we'll have to see. We have to also be a bit careful, right? Bin is uh, three item jacks. And uh, Wei still has, yeah, Wei has ult, Poppy has, Poppy does not have ult, but now she has. <gasps> okay, that was big, but I guess they don't have that much damage in terms of follow up. Okay, okay, it works out, it works out. No one dies even, no one dies even, but no, there's the static shift Jin. Okay, Ari also comes in. Okay, it's not enough. She, oh, yeah, she picks up two kills. Aye, aye, aye. So uh, yeah, Faker's stat line probably didn't look too good. I think his damage is going to be okay. Not the biggest, but it's going to be okay. But overall, I think, yeah, a good, good, good game, right? Carrier enabled on the Nico pick, right? That's, I think I talked about it, right? Nico support, obviously much better than Nico mid lane due to the simple fact that, well, she doesn't need the resources. Her ult is never going to one shot anyway. So giving her like two items worth of AP, it's just not going to change the champion, how it works, right? The ult and the E are always going to be useful. Same with the like confusion with the W. Uh, and obviously carry as a playmaker is pretty good. Uh, the Kalista, not the biggest fan. Guma played well, but I mean, there was not really too much he could do, right? There were so many people who could kill him if they wanted to. So that's that. Again, we talked about Faker massively. I think the pick is good. It could have come in at a, at a, like an R1, R2, not an R3. I guess you want to see what the enemy has picked before like committing to a Silas. Uh, but I don't know, man. Uh, then, like, if you don't want to do that, then maybe don't go with the, uh, what is it, with the NAR. I, I don't know, man. I guess NAR is a safe blind pick and there are mines. But, yeah, maybe I'm overhating on the NAR pick. Yeah, okay, here, Faker. You're not seeing it because my face is on top of it. But, yeah, ten, uh, like, roughly 10,000 damage less than the Ari. Makes sense, right? Faker, oh, two kills. Uh, had good farm, comparatively. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just hard to do, just, like, too much of anything. And uh, yeah, I mean, he still played well, right? Knight, uh, like having most damage as well, right? With six kills on RA, right? It's just great. Uh, yeah, regardless, T1 played well. I think Owner played really, really good today. Uh, yeah, Owner at international performances, he's just like a rock, right? It's like, I think he had one bad MSI last year or something. I don't remember, right? We have seen so many events now with this roster. Uh, it's insane how long they've played together, actually. Uh, and it's, it's in a positive way. So yeah, owner at international, it's just great. And uh, yeah, again, Guma, not much to say, played solid, carrier, similar story, played well. Uh, I like the most part uh, how T1 played the map. So we like, put the champions and what these abilities do out of the way. I think the way they played the early lane swaps, I think the way they played the maps, leveraged their TPs. I think that was overall pretty good. Obviously BLG is a tough opponent. It's not going to be like a, an easy stomp, but I think we played well, leveraged our leads, didn't throw shit away. Um, yeah, overall, big thumbs up. Kind of still not too excited about it. I don't know why, but maybe I'm just exhausted. Maybe I'm just uh, still a bit tired after just waking up. I don't know what it is. Hope you enjoyed, though, and hope you had a good reason to smile. We see each other with more Worlds content, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe to not miss out on that one. Bye-bye, my friends.